Okay, hey guys, Heidi Easley here from Texas Art and Soul, and we have Damon Oates, our business coach, as well as everyone introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Christy with the Social Easel. Tamara Bennett, Southern Adornment Decor. I'm Parker with Echo Exchange. What's up, you guys? And so we are going to be painting surfboards. So y'all know um, my story started from painting surfboards. That's how I got my business started. And so we're going to be teaching um, Damon and Parker, and these girls already know how to um, do some painting. So what we want to do first is we were talking about color. He had some color wheels on here, but really just pick, honestly, I recommend three to four colors that really go well together. Okay, awesome. So the first thing you want to do is choose your first color. This is going to be your main color, and I want you to paint the basically where the tape is not. So paint the the front of it, the side, or I'm sorry, the top of it, the bottom of it. And then if you wanna paint something different, in the middle you can. So um, like on this one, for example, I did two turquoise and then a coral. So go ahead and pick the same color for both outside. Again, it's art, you can do it however you want, but um, I recommend so it kinda of has some cohesiveness. Did I say that word right? Cohesiveness. Cohesiveness, that it would um, be okay. All right, so you're gonna use a one inch brush first. Yeah, I think I might want to put, look, I'm going to try this. Kind of blend it. Well, yeah, I'm going to try some of the metallic with my regular paint. Quick read size, just saying. Oh, yeah, oh, they can they be, be cute on a wreath. Wreath attachments, yeah, I definitely. Think about that. I was thinking they'd be really fun for, like, a kid's summer birthday party or something. Mm -hmm. And all the kids get to paint their own surfboard. Oh, yeah. Okay, so once you get that color, let's see how everybody's doing. And this is kind of, y'all, again, I teach people how to make money teaching paint parties. So this is what I love. Like, I'll paint it, and then I'll go around and check on everybody. So kind of see where everybody's at, and then go ahead and pick your middle color so you can paint in your middle color. You're doing great. Good job, y'all. Yep, and then paint the middle, and then you're just going to pull the tape right off as soon as you get the middle one done. And there's endless things you can do on this. So Deco Exchange, and then I'm Texas Art and Soul. I'm the social easel. I teach women how to paint. I'm Tamara Bennett, Southern Adornment Decor. I teach you how to paint door hangers. Okay, so now that we have that, is everybody got their, uh -huh. you can just pull it up like this. I have to do an ombre in the middle, really do a character. I'm just kind of pull up the paint, paint and go straight to the trash with it. it like so that you'll have this. Did you mix that with coral too? Yeah, I did an ombre with the hot pink in the... Look at Damon's. Oh, I'm doing Halloween because you guys not like Halloween. <laughs> I love Halloween. I would love to see a wreath attached right here. Yeah. So we, we, that we would be one of those so later? cool. So I'm going to show you all the next step, which again, art is, you know, you can do whatever you want. But what I like to do is take the one inch flat. Sometimes it's easier if you use a liner, if you're not real familiar. Um, and I like to do uh, whatever color, but then I'm going to outline it in black. So I'm going to yeah, use, that on there, okay, good. I'm going to use coral because um, I'm going to kind of make this like a turquoise and coral. Hopefully it'll turn out for Sarah's back patio. <laughs> if not, I'll, I'll do one with some music cranked up at home and it'll look really <laughs> cute. <laughs> and then what I like to do, and tell me if y'all can see this, but basically I just like to start at one side and then I'm just doing almost like a letter U. Let me do it in black so y'all can see it really good. So it's almost like a line and a letter U, and then I bring it out. Now, the key to the hibiscus, and a lot of times people just keep practicing them. So the key to this is, and you can use a liner brush if you're not comfortable, but just grabbing it, pulling it, making a U, and then just bringing it over. And then really what you wanna always do is just remember your center. Because a lot of times when people first start hibiscus, they start going way out. So I want to just bring it up, over, make it into a U. So you can see that I'm turning it into a, basically a circle here, a U. And I love to do five. So I always want to make sure when I'm doing this, I end up with five. And then I can bring in this to bring in the little, the little thing here, like that. So I did it in black so you could see it a little better, but what I would normally do is like, I would pick the coral color or whatever color it was gonna be. I would pick that color and then I would outline it in black. So I like to do like usually one or two on here, but you can also see you can do hearts with fun designs like that. And then you can do turtles, pretty much whatever you want. But when I do these as kids parties, the kids, usually I bring a couple of designs and they go crazy. 
and they have a blast. And then I end up taking it and putting their name on the top right after. So Damon's doing spiders. I love that. Yes, you can put anything you want on it. Like, just go crazy. So acrylic paint, any basic acrylic. Craft, um, craft paint, yeah. So I love um, the Americana paint. There's folk art here. This actually might be my new new favorite, yeah, is, the folk art color shift. This stuff is really fun. Mine all came from Walmart. Okay, so let's see how. We all got that. Once you get your spiders or your hibiscus or whatever you have, <laughs> you can outline, but you don't have to. So I think the outline, I love the, yeah, the yeah, web. We can't see yours. Can we see your spiders? We need the web. We need to show this web oh, going on. So cute. And then I added just a little bit of spider web in there. Let me I like see. It. I like it. Is that silver? It was metallic. Oh. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. And we can, like, once you get everything you want on it, then if you want to add, like, a big name on top, or you could do your last name and then put bar and grill, you could do anything like that and then just kind of make it fun for the pool Keep area. Um, Heidi, how do you display them? They want to know. Okay. So you can put something on the back. So a lot of times, like, Y'all, I don't go the extra extra route to like buy the framing things for people to drill in. So I usually like just set it on a shelf or whatever. But a lot of people will buy that little set from Walmart or the dollar store and they can drill it in and then hang it on the wall. I was going to say, you can um, even, Corey will sometimes just drill a tiny hole right yes. in the middle and then you can mm -hmm. just stick it on a nail too. Oh, good. Look at the shawl. So... And we work just like our six by twelve sign, basically. Just replace that's that. So cute. That's awesome. That's so that would fit only. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. That's so cute. Okay, so once you have your hibiscus, if you want to take black paint, you can just grab it and go right over it. Oh, I'm over here doing it with a skinny brush. Oh, but you know, this is what I tell faster. people all the time, right? You can use multiple brushes to do the same thing. <laughs> If you don't have the exact brushes we're using, that's okay. Um, I just kind of paint it on there, but if you had like a, a stencil or something, you could use some kind of stencil um, or cutting machine. Now on mine, sometimes I like to do this. I don't know if you ever do this or not, but I like to add the little black wispy lines on the outside of my shapes, just to kind of give a little bit Ooh, of movement. Oh, that's fun. And they're real wispy, so when you're doing this, you don't want to press down hard. I'm just using a little liner brush, but you want to make quick little movements around, not a solid outline. And they just add those fun, fun little lines. Wispy soap does that a lot. Of yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's, they're wispy. It gives it a little bit more whimsical. Look. It has a lot of little mistakes. Yes, too. and sorry, if you make mistakes, you can use your little outline whimsy lines. Oh, this is another good tip. Oh, yes. yes, just little, the back of the brush and just white dots. And um, I always like to put them just in the little corners oh. of the hibiscus. And then um, sometimes I'll do like a little um, line in it. So after I do my dots, I'll take it with a lot, make sure it's a liner brush and then just do like a big swoop on all of the little edges. So with Parker, this, they're dying to see your board. They should you gotta there. show them. Yeah. So, do we want so I'm to using kind of a lot, it's just a small round. So let's see. Depending on how much gold right you like, and add some little gold highlights. And then whenever- I put Spanish on mine. Hola, look how cute so your lettering is. You just whipped that out. I can't do that. Hola, Join us in the pool. Parker, you're gonna show off your first oh, one. He is. He did it. Uh, should we all hold him up? I'll, I'll even yeah. zoom in for you guys, okay? Ew, you that's in, so right. pretty. It looks it looks good from afar. <laughs> if you squint a little bit. <laughs> Yo, I'm not an artist. This is like the third time I've painted ever in my life. Ah, see, so you don't have to be an artist to be a painter. You can paint and have fun. But here's mine so far. There's a finished one. Here, I, I gotta put some glitter on this. Right, I'm fixing the glitter it up, but here's mine. You putting glitter on yours, Damon? I got it first. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween, I love it. You can do it too. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Heidi said, you don't have to have any skills to learn how to paint. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>